guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee June and I'm a fashion and beauty photographer based in Sydney, Australia. However, recently I've created this channel to talk about all things creative business and freelancing. And if you are a creative yourself or you're looking at starting a small business, this channel might hopefully be the channel for you. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what to do when your creative business isn't making any money. This is a really scary uh, time of a lot of creatives lives where sometimes if you're already freelancing and you're going through a very big lull, it's hard to pick everything back up and get back on the horse. And you can feel really anxious about your potential to earn money and your potential to actually get back to earning what you need to earn. So I wanna talk about a few tips today of what I like to do when this has happened to me in the past or what I think creative freelancers should be doing in this instance if you are not already doing so. So to get started with this video today, I'm going to first off say that I believe the number one thing that all creative freelancers should do if you are in this position of not earning any money is to pitch. Now, pitching is something that has been brought to my attention over the last few years, and particularly by Olivia Bossett. I'm actually going to recommend her pitching course down in the description box below. I have recommended her course many times before, but I highly recommend her course because it goes through the elements of pitching start to finish. It is essentially about sending your work off directly to potential clients or people or brands that you would like to work with. So you can do this in the manner of work in general if you're creative. So whether you're a graphic designer and you wanna work with a particular brand, for example, you can send your work off to them directly to pitch your work to them. Or you can even do this in the form of sponsorships or affiliates if you're a little bit more in the internet realm and you like earning money online as well. Pitching is essential because it really gets you in the habit of not waiting for the work to come to you. This is something that you can be doing at any time, whether you are earning money in your business or whether you're not, but particularly if you are going through a lull with your business, if you are struggling to earn money, then pitching is going to be the number one thing to drag you out of that lull. The worst thing that can happen out of pitching to brands and to different people is the fact that they may say no. And that's totally okay because in six months time, you'll be able to revisit and maybe send another email off and hopefully have a more positive response. And to be honest, most of my experience with this has been, and I think with a lot of different creatives out there, the experience has been quite positive. People are very polite most of the time and you're not really going to have a very negative response. It's a good way to learn to deal with rejection in a sense because sometimes for a lot of us a lot of introverted people like myself over the years have struggled to deal with rejection and it is hard to take but this is a really good way to get yourself in a routine of maybe getting rejected a few times and that's going to happen it's going to happen it's normal it's very common for us creatives to get rejected but this is something that could give you that yes that you need and it could give you the money and income that you need as well so you'll never know if you never try and pitching is one of those things that I would say if you're struggling with your income come currently definitely get on board with pitching. The next tip that I wanna talk about is putting your work out there. Now, I'm not just talking if you usually post a couple of things a week onto Instagram, onto Facebook, wherever. I'm talking about upping up the ante. So I'm saying that if you are struggling with your income, you need to be putting even more work out there, especially online to social media, Facebook groups, your website. You need to be posting and scheduling constantly. And especially if you are struggling, if you are not getting an income at the moment, you need to make sure that you're getting your work in front of as many people as you possibly can online through social media and through direct marketing like pitching and a lot of the time it seems like a natural thing to do when you're not earning a lot of money or you're not getting a lot of clients like you would like a lot of the time you do have quieter periods where you're kind of stuck at home maybe and you're not doing as much you're not doing as many jobs so hopefully you should have that extra time to put into scheduling and posting more content to get that out there try and find those avenues that really work for you and look into different streams of income online, like affiliate marketing or sponsorships and the like as well. That's a really good tip that I would recommend. And one of the last tips I'm gonna talk about today, when your business isn't earning any money, I think it's a really good idea to take any extra time that you have aside to create some extra products or services that you can sell. Now this could be for anything. If you're any type of creative, you can be doing this. Even creating something as simple as an e-product, an online product or a digital product that people can download, whether that is presets, whether it's an e-book, whether it's graphics that people can use or templates, think outside the box and think of things that you can offer people very quickly and very easily to develop and get out there to sell. Because something like this is gonna be great for when you are earning money as well and you have something like that passive income going in the background, 
But especially when things go downhill and you're not earning a lot of money, selling products and selling extra services to people is going to be the way that you can really prop your business back up again. Now, these are all tips that I use myself when I find myself or my business sliding into a little bit more of a lull with earning an income. This is exactly what I do. And I can honestly say that it has worked every time to get me back up to where I need to be, especially with posting content consistently and especially with pitching. That's going to be one thing that I really recommend over and over again on this channel for you guys to do. So guys, if you have any tips about what to do when you are not earning any money in your business, please leave them in the comments section below because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would be eager to hear lots of tips around this subject. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do because I'll be posting a lot more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.